Hello friends, this is Shrine and it's time for more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do appreciate it. I have a question. What the world is Hoarfrost? Whatever you called it. I have no clue. The mysterious blade unleashes its true power in Shrine's hand, extending to reach distant enemies. Oh, I gotta rest. Okay. Well, like I don't use it unless I really need to. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me. What was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice of you. I'm afraid not. I just say that's nice of you. Stay away, though. Professor, a bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try. But I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Uh-oh. What's wrong? She hey, passed out? What's wrong? Just got a little dizzy. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh. What could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Gotta go talk to the knights, so I guess I'll... Oh, it's time to instruct people. Got it. What are my goals about? <laughs> Someone has goals. I need to change. Group tasks. Oh yeah, they're riding together. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, let's instruct people. Who's motivated for me? No one. <laughs> no one. I think I'm trying to get that up for her. Start on that a bit. If she can learn some healing magic, that'd be great. She 
Excellent heal. Aha! I'm getting it. Great. Okay, Marianne. She needs to learn her lances. I think. Yeah, lance and riding. Okay, learn some lance. That was nice. Maybe I. I have to ask you. I thought you were a teacher. One of your students keeps challenging me to a fight, but he has no idea how to wield a sword. It's a way for time for both of us. What should us? What am I supposed to do? Use the fire's option to teach him. I think I get it. Oh, that was good motivation. Professor. Good professor. Huh? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Axe and brawling. Same thing. Okay. You wanna put a label on it? Go for it. Shamir. Oh, Shamir wants to speak to me. Hey, professor. The students seem to like you. They would seem that way. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. I was surprised too. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. You a mercenary? I was. My family had nothing when I was growing up. There were too many mouths to feed, so I left. Joined up with some mercs for the pay. The work suited me, but... I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. Business partner? I don't believe in the Church of Seros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. Ah, the port level C. Awesome. Tomas doesn't seem to be here. Oh well, that's fine. I've been researching the hero's relics a lot since we last spoke to him. I found out something interesting. Something interesting? What is it? It's about the connection between crests and the hero's relics. The crest stone of each relic is carved with a specific crest, the one that has the ability to wield it properly. The crests are the keys. You need the right one to safely use a hero's relic. The only thing I can't figure out is, why doesn't the sword of the creator have a crest stone bearing a crest? It had one in the past. Precisely. At least, that's my current guess. There's more. I believe the crest stones might be the source of the relic's inhuman power. When Miklon transformed into a black beast, he was taken over by something that originated from the crest stone. And the crest stone was on his body. It all seems to add up. Now, look at this picture I found in the library. That creature is called the Immaculate One, who was supposedly sent by the goddess to save the followers of Seros. You see the pattern on its brow and a faint circular boundary? Isn't it possible that's a crest stone? If all this is true, then crest stones are what power the ability to assume massive forms like that of the Immaculate One. And maybe the hero's relics can harness that transformative power. Oh, it is you. Have you seen Tomas recently? No such luck. I was hoping to speak with him myself, but he seems to be out on the town. 
I see. Well... Hmm? Where did you find that picture? It was in the library. Why do you ask? Is it something my youthful eyes shouldn't be seeing? No, of course not. However, that is not part of this library's collection. It must belong to Tomas. It would be problematic if it got mixed in with the other books. I will take possession of it for now. Take it away where no one can see it, you mean? What was that? Well, that's what Tomas said. He said records that the monastery doesn't approve of tend to disappear. Tomas said that? Preposterous. I have far too much to accomplish to waste time with this foolishness. He was certainly in a hurry. I wonder if he's off to confront Tomas. Well, he took the picture, so I guess that's that for now. I'll see you later, Teach. So, the church is hiding something after all. Some massive secret about relics and crests. A secret that must have something to do with the professor's true identity. Where'd you get that from? It's a bad day, is it? Linhart, uh, had some flowers. Much appreciated. I'll let you take the lead. <laughs> sure. Nice to have help for once. Pardon me, Professor. We're all done. How's this gonna help? My efforts have borne fruit. I think it's coming along. I understand more every day. I've learned a thing or two from battle. Oh, healing focus. Okay. Oh, finally. You have allies who can take advanced exams. Take a look at the certifications to review which they can take. Uh, an advanced seal has been given. Finally. I love how the door just opens for me. Yeah, I have quests to do. I have a lot of things I need to get done. So, let's check out the bulletin board. Cath- Oh, this month only. Let's help finding something. Let's go see Catherine. I've been ignoring the school portion for a little while, but just because. Hey, they both have quests. Perfect. And they're both timed. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, oh, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No, we need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. What? Catherine and Shamar seem to want a two-tone whetstone. Do I even have one? Okay. So I wonder because I have a quest to go back to Xenados, or whatever it's called, a canyon, the Red Canyon, on my own. I wonder hey. if the teacher went okay. by herself. Would what? they freak out? Like, what is she up to? I probably need to work on my weapons really badly. What? You have a quest. You know, Professor, the tournament fish and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Wow, okay. Wait, doesn't he have a... Is this for me? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't think I have any lost items for her. No.
You know, Professor, why all of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Just show me your quest, please, Felix. I have a request. Participate in a mock battle with the soldiers of House Flourless. Oh, okay. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Oh, thank you. What an unexpected kindness. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, never mind. If you're not feeling well, you should stop trying to walk it off and simply lie down. I guess that was not the right thing to say to him. I'm sorry, Lorenz. This month only as well. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the Four Saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. Do you now? I have something to ask of you. Just between us, many students have disappeared recently. If you haven't learned anything about anything pertinent, please inform me quickly and discreetly. Collect information on the missing students. You may find clues around the dormitory where the students reside. Oh gosh, gotta do that now. They can't be missing. I don't think I have enough around renown to do anything. Oh her. Hello. Oh goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. Please be careful. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Well, thank you. So yeah, last time the professor did kind of pass out in front of her dad, so I don't know what's going on with that. Hope she's okay. Uh -huh. mm. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option? Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance as... Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep oh on the floor. Oh my gosh. Manuela. Drunk on the job. I could use your help. Delivered a letter. There's no address. Perhaps you can figure out who the writer was referring to when he said someone in her position. I know it's inappropriate to write love letters to someone in her position, but I can't help that way I feel. It may only inconvenience her, but could you deliver this? Is it Manuela? Do you like Manuela? Always a teacher. Or is it Rhea? Oh, cannot be Rhea. That would be interesting. If it's Rhea, he wants to let a letter to. And I think someone would be that brazen, that brave. Professor. Do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? I do not. Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mach. To Ramayr Village. It was in Ramayr that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. Time definitely passes quickly in this game. So, would you like a letter, my dear? I appreciate this. I appreciate this. I have no clue what she actually enjoys. Unless she's really... I appreciate yeah, I shouldn't have lost items. Can you train me in the sword, please? Thank you. I appreciate. Go. I can't go there. I gotta go this way. Turn that into him real quick. I let her know about it. And since I'm around here, I'll probably do choir practice with uh, Lane and Marianne. They can increase their skills. Or maybe I should put uh, Lissetia in there. That might be fun. 
Why did you be so far away? Impressive. Thanks. You're welcome. Landscape painting. Ooh, thank you. Any other nice quest around here? There's something here, so let's go. Ah, Manuela. I think she was one passed out. I know she was one passed out. She has a quest, though. I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. I don't think I have anything else of hers, but what did she want? I can recruit her? Hello, Professor. I know that look in your eye. You want to ask me a favor. You want me to help out with your class, right? You just say the word, and I'll help however I can. Oh, cool. Don't worry about it. You're just starting out as a teacher, right? It's only natural for those of us with more experience to help the younger generation. Well, thank you, Manuela. Excited. But where's that quest? Maybe it's just faculty training? Huh. Well done. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for the shield. Need something. Five points. Okay. Oh, axe skills. Sword skills. Let's do that. Oh, I, I thought. Oh, I have to do that. Darn it. Okay. This one. You're all set. I don't actually have heavy armor at anyone with that. So let's do land skills. This one. You're all set. I'll probably do sword skills next time. Just because. You look like a cat that's been sprayed with water. What? You don't think I should sing the high notes? Our voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. Oh, so I gain authority or they gain faith. Okay. Yes. Go for the Manuela. Okay. I... Who... Oh, settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Are you drunk? You were sleeping? Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... Just a moment. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit oversleeping. Hold on. Where are my clothes? I can't even find my... Where in blazes is my underwear? Oh my gosh. Oh, I... What is my dressing robe belt caught on? Ugh, I can't tie this properly. It's not even covering. Oh, Manuela. This will have to do. Are, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Just, oh, just hold on a moment. Oh, hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So, what do you want? What were you doing? Excuse me? You had a reason for coming here, I assume. I put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you, you know. Sorry. No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. Never mind. What did you want, anyway? I have a message from a knight. You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh. What did he have to say? <laughs> oh, no. No, she doesn't want to hear that. He said we will never go out together again. 
Yeah, figures. Kind of saw it coming, actually. That's why I came back to my room and went to bed. To get over it. Thank you for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. Sleep well. That was strange. Hey, we got some levels. Manuela. That was so strange though. She's kind of a mess. That's what they say that things rarely if ever go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? I wouldn't say so. That's fine. I mean, I feel like that item I'm looking for has to be one of these random ones, but where in the world could it be? No, there's those two. That's not what they want, is it? No. <laughs> Crystallogical Mysteries. Okay. There's something up here. I'm gonna look around a bit better and check. Hey, Dimitri. Professor. Crumpled love letter? Oh, Gilbert. Let me consider. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please take care. Okay, so something... What, what's over here? Oh, you want something nice. Professor, what have you got there? That's... My goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this. But I do ask that you consider trading with me. Okay. I am in your debt, Professor. Tomb of Calmly Saints. Um... I might want this, maybe we should go ask around. Okay, this is gonna be one of those things where you have to trade, trade, trade to get what you need. Which is fine. Uh, it's down here somewhere, so... Go to the market and then see who I can chat with. That's kind of cool. Professor. Catherine! Catherine would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Of course it is. Why? Sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Didn't you call me good looking last time I talked to you? Or before a bit? Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight. But a professorship? Unprecedented. Is it? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well. But he's strong, right? Not as strong as people say I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, those are both weird answers. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, 
That settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Hey! Hey, wait a minute. What you've got there, isn't that... Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Okay. Fantastic! Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Our amulet. Ooh. Who might want this? Okay. No time for tea. Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey, it worked out perfectly. Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Yes. Thanks, Professor. This is great. Glowing stone. Cool. Oh, her, okay. Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? Would you mind trading it with me for this? Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. The Path of Dawn. Who wants that? Marianne wants it. Well, um, Professor, it's about that thing you have there. If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. Awesome. Additional eye drops. Oh, who needs those? Oh, you're in your room for once. Remire Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. That is a possibility that they had a clue mercenaries were there and that it might save them. Who knows? Lorenz room. Okay, that, that looks nicer. Trade gold. This Claude's room. Yeah. <laughs> All the books everywhere. Wait, something glow? No. Claude! No, no I'm gonna talk to Claude anyway. Even if I spend all of my time rummaging through this library, there's a limit to the knowledge that can be gained. Apparently, it only contains books whose contents have been deemed appropriate by the church. If only Tomas were around, I bet he has some interesting stories he could regale us with. What happened to Tomas? Where is he? Ah, oh, you want the item. Hmm, that's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? Sure, okay. Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Ah, the two-tone whetstone. That's how you get it. I know who wants that, but who should I give it to? Now, who should I give it to? Catherine or Shamir? I mean, I adore Shamir. She's really awesome in combat. I just got Catherine on my team. I don't know how she plays. Ah, oh, you've been saving us, but so huh? you're gonna get it. You brought it, Professor. Hand it over, and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me. I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Here you go, Shamir. Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine, if you quit sulking. Thanks. <laughs> so you know how to follow instructions still. Remain respectful to Catherine as well. What? But... I wanted the silver bow. Or Claude. That should be all my needed quests. So we do have a mission, so I'm going to end this episode here and start a beginning with this one next time. I thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I do always appreciate it and have an awesome day.